Hello, and welcome to our 2017 Annual Conference Briefing video. My name is Carol Shepard, and I am serving as the Annual Conference Moderator for 2017, and with me is Jim Beckwith, who is our Annual Conference Secretary. We are filming today from my home in the Shenandoah Valley of Virginia. I live about a mile down the road from my home congregation of Lebanon Church of the Brethren here in Mount Sydney, and we're part of the Shenandoah District. This year, um, we are having our 231st recorded annual conference, and we're meeting this year in Grand Rapids, Michigan, from Wednesday, June 28th, until noontime on Sunday, July 2nd. Samuel Sarpia from the Rockford Community Church of the Brethren Congregation in the Illinois Wisconsin District will join me as moderator-elect. Here with Jim and me today uh, are Dave Sollenberger and Larry Glick. They're behind the cameras being our videographers. And many of you know their wonderful work telling the story of the annual conference and telling the many stories that make up the Church of the Brethren. Welcome to my home and to our time together. This video is in, in anticipation of our gathering at conference, and it will provide information and guidance that we hope will be useful as we look forward to a time of fellowship and renewal. The theme for this year's conference is Risk Hope. It emerges from a recurring chorus from the story of Israel's progressive descent into exile, even as it speaks Christ's call to us in our world today. In the words of the writer of Hebrews, let us hold fast to the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who has promised is faithful. We hope that this theme has helped to prepare us for the work and worship of annual conference and that it will permeate our time together in Grand Rapids. Grand Rapids will be a great place for the brethren to gather for annual conference. The convention center and the Amway Grand Plaza Hotel are beautifully situated on the Grand River and the hotel is connected to the convention center by a climate-controlled walkway. Other conference hotels are just a short distance from the convention center. Grand Rapids offers a number of exciting and enriching places to visit. The Gerald R. Ford Presidential Museum is located right across the river from the convention center and has been completely renovated since our last trip to Grand Rapids in 2011. The Frederick Meyer Gardens and Sculpture Park boast some of the most famous sculptures in the world, while the Grand Rapids Art Museum is as remarkable for its design as for the works of art it houses. The downtown market offers both indoor and outdoor vendors showcasing artisan foods and crafts. Just a short jaunt from the convention center, you can take in the Meyer May House, designed by Frank Lloyd Wright, and the Grand Rapids Children's Museum. There's also the John Ball Zoo, the Grand Rapids Public Museum, and the Calvin College Ecosystem Preserve. These and many more are described in detail on the annual conference website. Be sure to check it out as you plan your time at annual conference. You can sign up for special group outings and tours of the Frederick Meyer Gardens and Sculpture Park, the Gerald R. Ford Presidential Museum, and the Grand Rapids Art Museum. Again, go to the annual conference website and click on 2017 conference information to see links for registration, hotels, activities, and things to do in Grand Rapids. This year, like last year, the special tours are at a time when the delegates can go during our Jubilee afternoon. The Jubilee afternoon was held for the first time last year at the 2016 annual conference in Greensboro. Conference leadership had become concerned that the heavy focus on contentious, contentious issues during business sessions was eroding the effectiveness of annual conference in meeting its mission statement, which is the Church of the Brethren annual conference exists to unite, strengthen, and equip the Church of the Brethren to follow Jesus. So, acknowledging that the season had come to rest for a period from the work of conference business, the Program and Arrangements Committee set aside a time Friday afternoon to celebrate God's abundance in our midst, to restore our fellowship, and to equip ourselves for the work Christ sets before us. The response from the gathered body, both during and after Annual Conference 2016, was overwhelmingly positive. The music, fellowship, 
equipping workshops, service projects, special programming, and afternoon of rest allowed a time essential for bonding and being together that helped to rejuvenate us. So this year we will celebrate our second Jubilee afternoon, welcoming special musical performances from Ken Miedema and Jonathan Emmons, a new set of equipping workshops, special programming in the exhibit hall, special projects benefiting Greater Grand Rapids, an opportunity to get out and see some of what the region has to offer. Again, be sure to check the annual conference website. That is www.brethren.org AC. And you'll find details there and you can sign up for service projects and for the group tours at that site. Click on activities and then click on Jubilee Afternoon. Oh, I think first you have to click on Grand Rapids and then activities and then Jubilee Afternoon to see the options for Friday afternoon. While the musical events and equipping workshops are open to all, the service projects and group tours have limited slots, so be sure to sign up early for those. You'll be prompted to include group tours and special projects when you enter the regular registration process, whether for delegates or non-delegates. So keep an eye out for those options as you register. There are a lot of Jubilee activities on Friday afternoon that do not require registration and you can find them under activities on the website. For example, we will have an ice cream social with free ice cream for everyone who has completed a passport. That's a, a document that you take from booth to booth to get it stamped to show that you have taken part in various activities in the exhibit hall to discover uh, how people are working to fulfill the annual conference purpose which is to unite, strengthen, and equip the Church of the Brethren to follow Jesus. Friday afternoon's Jubilee activities will be a special time, a time to link our business sessions with the heart of our time together, our worship. This year, we are grateful for the service of excellent Church of the Brethren preachers who will guide us in our exploration of what it means to risk hope in the midst of dark times. I'll get us started preaching at the opening worship on Wednesday evening. Jose Calejo Otero, the District Executive for the Puerto Rico District, will preach on Thursday evening. Michaela Alphonse, the Coordinator of Theological Training and Student Scholarships for the Church of the Brethren in Haiti, will preach on Friday evening. Saturday evening, Donna Ritchie Martin, the co-pastor of the Gross Nickel Church of the Brethren in Myersville, Maryland, will preach. And Sunday morning, Matthew Fike, pastor of the Lebanon Church of the Brethren in Mount Sydney, Virginia, will be our preacher. Offerings during worship this year have been designated, one each for the Nigeria Crisis Fund, the Church of the Brethren in Haiti, a donation of children's Bibles through the Shine curriculum, Renaissance 2017 to 2020, which will be a congregational life evan evangelism initiative, and each year we also collect items for ministry in the city where annual conference is held. And so this year's Witness to the Host City is for Bethany Christian Services and for a Refugee Education Center in Grand Rapids. You can donate cash or things uh, that are listed on the website. This year some of the things are bed sheets, pens, envelopes, scotch tape, backpacks, small bags of crackers, pretzels, dried fruit, those kinds of things that you can pack in to bring with you. And you'll see details about that offering and all of the offerings on the annual conference website. There are so many things to do in Grand Rapids. Um, and uh, we have a number of pre-conference activities as well and opportunities. The Minister's Association pre-conference event this year is called Tired of Apologizing for a Church I Don't Belong To and will be led by known theologian Lillian Daniels. There are three workshops on congregational care and vitality for which you must pre-register. One is on con conflict transformation, one on becoming a listening and discerning congregation, and one on growing in faith, faithful service for deacon ministry. There will also be a Kingian nonviolence training. Again, registration is required. And the Council of District Executives and the Interagency Forum pre-conference prayer meeting is available for all. Orientation for new attendees will occur on Wednesday afternoon. Moderator-elect Samuel Sarpia and Congress, Conference Director Chris Douglas and Jim Beckwith, our Annual Conference Secretary, will help get newcomers started 
Um, the session is specifically for first-time attendees and for those who have not attended recently, uh, but it's open to all. And again, the orientation session will be held on Wednesday afternoon from 3 until 5 p.m. before the opening worship service. During annual conference itself, you can take part in insight sessions that are designed to equip attendees uh, to go back to their congregations with some skills, help church leaders feel comfortable in their roles. Uh, so those, there are the insight sessions, and then there's also mutual help groups, and there will be luncheons and dinners with special guest speakers. In addition to those special times with special speakers, there are a great variety of places to eat within a short distance of the convention center, and there will be some sign-up sheets for going out to dinner with other people, if that's something you would like to do. There will be choir rehearsals, and you can join in the quilting. So those are some of the activities you'll see when you get your conference booklet. It'll have the list, or you can look online at the website. So, pace yourself. Focus on what will help equip you and your congregation to follow Jesus faithfully in this body of Christ. If you are watching this video and you belong to a congregation that has not sent a delegate in recent years, we hope you will consider this a good time to rejoin this important event in the life of the church. We have suggested that congregations for whom the annual meeting is a prohibitive expense consider sharing a delegate with another congregation that is not planning to send a delegate. We look forward with heartfelt anticipation to seeing many of you in Grand Rapids this summer.